So we've been searching through the comments of some of our old videos, trying to figure out what we can cut, and we found that a lot of you have been recommending a toilet. So, why not? We also figured that a lot of you are probably sitting on one of these while watching this video right now, so it just seemed very appropriate. I know, I watch YouTube on the toilet. Do you watch our channel on the toilet? I've never watched one of our videos. Figures. True, true story. This toilet, no, it has not been used. It is brand new, I just unboxed it. But our plan is to cut the tank, not in half, but create a window, put some plexiglass up against there, and then we'll cut the actual toilet part in half so you can see the, the pee trap, the bowl, and then we'll answer the question that everybody, the poop trap and pee. And then we'll answer the question that everybody's been wondering, can you flush half a toilet? I'm thinking it'll kind of do like a weird swirl, like off to the side and create like a new center. But yeah, I'm not sure. Will it actually be able to flush some does a, substance though? Does the toilet need to be round to flush? Yeah. This has taken a long time, but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're almost there, I think. Now, you may have noticed that I'm using hearing protection, and that's because I value my hearing. And we're back. This super cheap grinder just was not cutting it, so I brought a couple beefier ones from home, and we've also got some diamond blades. Hopefully, it'll make short work of the rest of this. Somebody called me on my phone and it stopped the recording. But this is how far we have got. My first thought is uh, that poo pipe part right there, that just looks like it's asking to be clogged. Yeah, like this sharp corner here, and then this little shelf down there. Like, what are you thinking here? I mean, we're no toilet designers, but it just looks, it just looks like a bad design. We now have half of a working toilet. Through an elaborate system of adapters, we've even got it hooked up to a garden hose. Uh, looks like there was some garnet left in there, but that should just chill on the bottom of the tank. I don't think it'll go over into the rest of it. Down here, you can see how the wax ring squishes around and makes a seal. 
with your floor. Also, another um, observation. This is a four inch poo pipe right here. And sometimes people will ask like a plumber to put in a thicker poo pipe, right? Yeah, so you get more flushes. More well, yeah. flushability. More, more flushability, but look how tiny the hole is on the bottom of this toilet. It's like two inches. Doesn't matter how big you go right there, your poop's just gonna get stuck right there. Yeah, you need like a four inch all the way up, big four inch neck. Does anybody make a toilet like that? We could flush like a can of soda down there. <laughs> now, first question, with a regular flush, does it still swirl? And does it just flush, period? Did it swirl? Not that I saw. All those holes up in there. They're all cut on like an angle or drilled on an angle so that it kind of forces the water to start the swirl. And it still does that, but then it hits the plexiglass and, and that's it. So half a toilet will flush nothing, but to really test it, we've got these brownies now that... You missed the plot. Oh. That looks too real. <laughs> that's disgusting. I rolled it up in the pack and then just... <laughs> it went down. Half a toilet will flush. <laughs> kind of surprised me. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Naturally, the next step is how many little Debbies does it take to clog half a toilet? <laughs> You want to put this one back in? Yeah, that's, that one's a dry docker. You just need to make sure everybody clearly understands that these are brownies. Because they are. Brownies. <laughs> <laughs> that is just disgusting. Okay, three brownies. Will it clog? Oh, they're sticky. Uh-oh. Double clog. Ooh, we're all familiar with that, where the water level goes down low and then it starts like blurping a little bit. You get to this point, what do you do? You naturally flush it a second time. Second flush. Oh, 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 it's so close, it wants to. <laughs> we back at the level. Okay, at this point, you see the crumbs, you know you're in for it. <laughs> You wonder, do you try another flush? Or, or is that, that going to overflow up? it? Oh, and then now this is when you start regretting it. Yep. I think we need to find a plunger now. Before we go to the plunger, one theory is that, well, you're in the bathroom. What do you have nearby that you can use? You got hand soap. It's kind of slippery. So does a couple pumps of hand soap free it up? Lube it up. Mm, nope. We're backing up. We're filling. Those are sticky. We got crumbs. Oh no. <laughs> Half a blunder doesn't work. <laughs> My hand is going to ruin the whole thing. <laughs> Get some more water in there. Oh! You run close. <laughs> Somebody please make a gif out of any of these shots and put it on Reddit. I, I want to see that's it. that's not oddly satisfying, or is there like <laughs> disgustingly satisfying? I don't know all the categories, but... Now real quick, so we can classify this video as educational. Um, this is how a toilet works. So all of your water is stored up here in this tank. When you flush it, that chain right there pulls and lets all the water flush down into this cavity. This cavity splits the water off into two directions. One, it goes around the ring of the bowl and comes out these holes that you see under there. The other bit goes down through there, it goes around the back, comes in here, and then it pushes through 
that hole and that's the flush assist jet. I don't know what the technical term See, is this for is that. Pressure from the bottom, you got water coming from the top, pushing everything. So that helps push along. it up. Here's where we saw the most of the clogs. But down here is where you have all the poop smells. But you're blocked from the poop smells by the level of the water, so the gases can only come up to here. And that's called a trap. Your sinks have them, your toilets have them, your showers have them. Any plumbing in your house has a trap to keep those sewer gases out of your house. If you drained all of the water out of here and then left your toilet like that for a while, it would start to smell real bad real quick. Kind of a genius design, I think.